right now everyone just trying to get a grip on the fact that they are riding in a bike race with 11 teams. Yeah, here we go. I told you those boys would get after it. <laughs> the team from Cornell, there they go to the front. They might not have the high horsepower, but boy, they like to go. Single file. Look at that. Three teams starting to pull away. Look at Alvord and Alvord moving right up there in the third spot. Yeah, baby. 12 laps to go. Right there with Team Rite Aid. As now the bike race reorganizes. Wiswell and Scott moving up into second spot. Team Cornell on the front, 11 laps to go. Trying to see if anybody out there is just a little bit tired. The boys setting a good pace. Look at that. Single file, tandem racing, 11 teams on the track. That's crazy. Swinging up just a bit. Whoa, and now Cornell right back to the front. Ten laps to go now, riders. Ten to go. Al board now, board. Dig it in. Because maybe you noticed something about the guys from Cornell. They're not big and burly like big sprinter dudes like New Zealand. They're a little bit thinner. Like we could go a lot harder for a lot longer. Nine laps to go now. It's all about that aerobic fitness kind of a thing. I don't understand all of it. Speedy Beers throws in the towel looking for somebody else to do the chasing. Looking out there at those boys thinking, they're starting to annoy me, those guys. Here comes Cornell, eight laps to go. They did real well last year. Now, like I said, not so much in the sprints, but in this big finale. They are keeping the pressure on and they're going to make these guys chase them. And when you've got as much beef on that tandem as, say, Team New Zealand in the middle of the back straight, you just want a nice short sprint finish. You don't want to chase for eight laps. Look at that. Here comes Rite Aid. They're trying to close it up. Mike Beers doesn't look too concerned. He's just looking like, okay, we'll just keep rolling here. Oh, and, and now Cornell swings up. Mike Beers comes through. Cornell looking for the draft. There they go, down the back straight. They want to get in that draft. See if they can stay there. Team Argentina on the front of the field. Never thought you'd say the word field in a tandem race. Six laps to go now. Team New Zealand. I don't know if those boys are digging this too much. They're like, come on there, you young whippersnappers. Get up there and lead this chase. Looks like it's coming back together just a bit, though. Now as Kuklis and Ignash go to the front and take a turn. <laughs> Andy Kuklis put his hand out to signal his turn. <laughs> We're moving up, guys. Argentina, fastest in the sprint tonight under the bridge. Five laps to go. They don't need to catch him right away, but they need to kind of reel him in so they've got a chance. Let's go here. As now Cornell and Team Rite Aid. Look at that. Here comes Kuklis and Ignash. Got that old bike wound up. Four laps to go. Espinosa and Yates, they were sitting in the back for the longest time, and now they're trying to get in the mix. Don't forget, though, folks, as fast as Team Argentina was, they could probably cover that gap up in about a lap and a half. Over the top, Wiswell and Scott. Dig it in. Oh, and that gap is coming down. Three laps to go, one kilometer. Wiswell and Scott, they are doing the chase and bringing along the All Blacks from New Zealand. And our bike race is coming back together with two laps to go. Wiswell and Scott over the top. Team New Zealand showing they still got some studs. Here comes Rite Aid. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Who's got the gas down the... Here comes Argentina. Look at this. Here we go. Coming up on the bell. Team Argentina on the outside. They come around right here. They catch up to New Zealand. They're together. They got the lead down the back stretch. And Team Argentina looking to go two for two. And head down. Elbows out. What a great ride! 
and 11 tandems on the track. Nary a wheel put wrong in the fight race, and Team Argentina takes the win right around the outside, just like they drew it up on the cocktail napkins. Team Argentina, what a great ride. Leonardo Bocasco and Denise Hailman. Congratulations. Argentina gets the win. New Zealand second, and Rite Aid right there in third.